Good afternoon, guys. Today is another day on the shop, or at the shop, or in the shop, however you want to say it. Uh, today I'm working on my little one's power wheels. I'm going to try and do a conversion I've seen before where it's taking a 20 volt uh, rechargeable drill or whatever you want to use it for, battery, uh, and making it work with uh, this instead of using the 12 volt uh, little lawnmower battery, I would say, that's in it that holds a charge for very little time and then it takes forever to charge back up. So this way we can use 20 volts, which is a heck of a lot more than 12, if you can add. And one, uh, we can switch them out as need be. So we can have a full day of playing on this thing and burn these motors to pieces. So let's get to it. I want to say that if this video has a little bit of blurriness on this side, it's due to the fact of me dropping my camera the other day. And I don't have another lens for it. So I'm working on that. So we're going to dive into this now. First, we're going to get down here and I'm going to set y'all up. Oh, straight. There you go. All right. Pull this little part down. Pull this bar out. Pull this out. All right, some people reuse these uh, so that they can maintain a factory setup. Uh, what I'm possibly going to do, since I have already redone the ends of these, I'll probably just use the end that's uh, connected to the battery and put it in here. This is a uh, voltage controller, basically a speed controller. You have a positive, a negative, positive and negative. This comes from the battery, that goes to the car itself. So when we wire this up, we'll have two of these connected to the input right here. Uh, right, excuse me, going to the uh, motors. So this is the other little part that I have. It's a USB charger for a DeWalt battery, which you can slide it on and you can charge and it shows lights and everything else so I'll be taking this apart and possibly mounting it somewhere in here either on that side or this side or up top like this probably be best and so we can just slide the battery in connect it and it's connected so we'll do that and uh, what we're going to do is have to pop this apart which is basically that little clip right there and the whole thing should pop apart. Well, and a little screw right here so we'll pop that apart and mess with the internals and have two wires coming out that connect to here so let's start that so starting with this got a little star bit right there I'll have to find me a screwdriver for but then you have this little clip right here which you can just pop off like so and that pops off from the front. So let me go find a little star bit real quick since I'm uh, not, um, what's the word for it? Prepared. All right, so I'm back. So found me a little star bit. So we'll just take this off. Screw all the way up. There we go. All right, pop this apart. All right, pop this whole thing apart. There we go. All right, so. You see, I got two little wires right here, a positive and a negative. So uh, that these are just attached right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave these attached. I'm going to clip them right here. So if I ever wanted to reuse this for any reason, I could, which I'll probably just throw it away because it's not usable after this. All right, did that. Got this. Now I'm going to splice these into these wires so we'll, we'll go red and black red and black pink and black whatever you want to call it and we'll run these over to here so let's uh get started 
All right, so uh, I lied. I didn't just splice them in. Uh, I already have these connectors on here, which I'm going to crimp a little bit harder, but they're not moving. And once they get secured in here, they're not going to move either. Uh, I desoldered the other two wires, which made it a lot better. So, because now I have even thicker wire for battery power to make sure that this is all connected good. So, uh, I'm crimp these a little bit more and uh, then put ends on here. And I'm just going to feed them through these little channels right here and have positive negative out there. So, let me do that real quick. All right, so a lot again. Uh, it was easier just to go ahead and solder these together. Not the greatest job, but it works. So, with this, we've figured out this is the positive side, so you got the pink. This is the negative side, so you got the black. All right, the next thing. This goes in this little doohickey right here. And once it slides in here, we're going to reroute these wires. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just cut this right down here on each side and it should let the wire come straight through there all right as you see it's starting to get back together I slip this screw in here everything's lining up good so we got these wires in here like we should do, do, do. there we go now we just gotta put this little clip back in here like so All right, push down a little bit. All right, it's out of the way. Now, if we were to insert that in there, it plugs in, boom, it's in. All right, now we got to put connectors on here to connect to here. And then we got to put connectors off here to connect to here as well. So these connectors are going to get swapped out, and these are going to get connectors. So we're going to start there. All right, so uh, I have got that ready, got this ready, put clips on everything, put it in the right spot uh, from the battery to the motor. Uh, everything looks like it's going to be in a good spot on here. I just got to take it to the car and figure out where I want to put it in the car. But I'm showing you this. That just plugs in there like that. And this just plugs into the regular harness like that. And then you have your speed controller right here. So, let's figure this out. Alright, well, I put it all in here. It's not the greatest, but we're going to run a trial and see how this goes. So, let's uh, put this down and uh, put this front end on and we're going to see how this goes. Alright, here's the first test. It's working. It's working. So, apparently it works. I like it. So now, not sure how long that battery is going to last, but I have multiple batteries and can charge so many different batteries while my daughter's playing on it. So, I'm going to charge the battery now. We're going to see how this goes. Just wanted to say thank you for joining in for another video. Please check out the Instagram and Facebook for any other inquiries or uh, if you want to look at some merch. Uh, like, and subs uh, like, subscribe, and comment if you want. Uh, I appreciate y'all tuning in. And until next time, thanks.